Hello there. We're going to look at uh, finding the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Let's look at the highest common factor first. The highest common factor is when we talk about two or more numbers. Let's look at these two numbers, 6 and 9. What factor do they have in common? Well, they have the factors 1 and 3. Which of those is highest? The answer is 3. So the highest common factor of 6 and 9 is 3. Oops, my old computer's playing up, just excuse me. Bit of a perfectionist. Look at that again. What's the highest common factor of oh, sugar? I think that's because I've got too many other little features open on this not overly powerful laptop. Anyway, the highest common factor of 12 and 18. Well, what factors do they have in common? Every number has one. We tend to ignore it. They're both even, so they have two. Uh, they're both divisible by three, so three is a factor. Four won't go in, nor will five. Neither uh, ends in zero or five. Um, what about six? Six will go in. Any other numbers? Seven, no, eight, and so on. So the highest common factor is 6. Now, let's look at lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple, now here's the first way, it's rather laborious, of finding the lowest common multiple, 6 and 9. You write out all the multiples of 6, so they are 6, 12, 18, 24, well, you can't write them all out. So you stop after a few, 4, 5 is sufficient. And then you write out the multiples of 9. 9, 18, 27, 36, and you stop. Hopefully, if you're on the ball, you'll have spotted that. The first, and hence the lowest, multiple that they have in common is 18. But let's look at a quicker way of doing it. The lowest common multiple of any two numbers equals. You multiply the numbers together and you divide by the highest common factor. 6 times 9 is 54. 54 over 3, improper fraction, or 18. Let's look at that again. Let's find the lowest common multiple of, well, we saw these two numbers earlier as well, 12 and 18. Now, we're not going to write out all the multiples. We're going to use the method I just showed you. So the lowest common multiple equals 12 times 18 divided by the highest common factor, which we saw was 6. Now, I haven't got time here to, to work out uh, 12 times 18 then divide it by 6. What I can do is, and hopefully you've spotted this earlier in one of my um, former videos, is you cancel before you do any multiplying. 6 will go into 12 twice and do it itself once. Now I multiply all the numbers that are um, not crossed out. 2 times 18 is 36 and there's a 1 here or 36. The lowest common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. Now let's extend this to prime factor form. Prime factor form. Sometimes you might see the question um, use this uh, uh, phrasing, product of prime factors. Right, I'll just remind you how you do it. Let's look at the uh, pro prime factor form or product prime factors of the number 48. So you put a big L around it and divide by the smallest prime number. Here I'll just um, write up the uh, first few prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Remember, prime numbers can only be divided by themselves and 1. Right, so what's the smallest prime number that goes into 48? It's 2, and it goes in 24 times. Put a big L around that. Uh, smallest prime number at 24 is 2, and it goes in 12 times. Smallest prime number that goes into 12 is 2, and it goes in 6 times. Smallest prime number that will go into two uh, into six bigger pun is two and it goes in three times. And three is a prime number, so three goes into it. 
and it goes in once. So 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or an in index form 2 to the power 4 we have 4 twos times 3. Um, if I tell you that 60 in uh, prime factor form or as a product of its prime factors is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 we'll then use these two we'll use the uh, top ones because I think it's easier when you can see the all the prime factors written out to work out the highest common factor the highest common factor is which prime factors do they have in common 48 has a 2 and so does 60 so the highest common factor is going to have a 2 in it actually 2 occurs a second time in both so our highest common factor is going to have 2 lots of 2 is there any other prime factor they have in common there is 48 has 3 as a prime factor and so does 60 so the highest common factor is we multiply those out 2 times 2 times 3 is 12 the highest common factor of 48 and 60 is 12 and the more mathematically minded would probably have worked that out just by looking at the two numbers how do we use that to find the lowest common multiple well let's take those two numbers the lowest common multiple of 48 and 60 well here's the simplest way multiply them together and divide by that highest common factor you just worked out now let's do the cancelling first 12 goes into well both 48 and 60 obviously it's a common factor I'm going to divide it into 48 so I'm going to divide that by 12 to give me 4 and that by 12 to give me 1 now I multiply what I've got what I have left 4 times 60 is 240 so the lowest common multiple is of 48 big pound and 60 is 240 if I wanted to I could have done that using prime factors but it's a bit laborious so there's 48 the brackets are just to remind me where I should start, uh, start and finish and here is 60 and again as a product of prime factors I'm going to put that highest common factor and here we cancel directly one on the top for one on the bottom one on the top for one on the bottom one on the top for one on the bottom and now I multiply what I've got left 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 3 is 48 times 5 is 240 I think the top method is the better of those I think this method that I'm going to call method a we are right using them uh, writing them as numbers is better than writing them out as the product of the prime factors anyway thank you for listening I hope I kept it uh, fairly brief thank you